won't my stuff wake up when sketching in Fusion 360? First, we'll start by creating a sketch. I'm gonna sketch on this face. And what I'd like to do is create a circle that matches up the same radii as this arc here and has the same center point. So when I go to my circle, why won't it wake up any entities that I can select? What preferences do I not really have set how I want? The snap may be turned on, it might be turned off, but it's not helping. So a few things to be aware of. The first thing is your selection filters. When you come down, you'll look for selection filters. I like to turn everything on so that it's quick to select everything. Next, we're going to turn on some settings in our preferences. Now I've set my preferences back to default just a second ago. First thing is this auto project edges on reference and auto project geometry on active sketch plane. With both of these selected, we can now use the sketch entity intelligently. It wakes up this arc and if I hover patiently, it will wake up the center point of that arc to where I can automatically center it and can even connect it to this arc matching the radii. I'm using the same settings, but I still can't get it to see those edges. One challenge when you're sketching and trying to auto project is that you need to be aware of how you're viewing the part. So what we just did, I, I was able to wake up this arc and the center point, but if I were to rotate this part and now try to wake it up, it's gonna be much more difficult. You can see that it's not connecting to edges as well. It's seeing this arc just fine, but it's not even seeing this edge. It's important to look straight at the face that you care about, so you can use the look at. It'll look directly at, and now, zoom back in, I can sketch to this arc. Is there a quick way to just redraw something that's already there? Well, that's where project comes in. Select this face, for example, and you'd like to effectively redraw it and then maybe modify it a little bit. I'll start a sketch, create sketch on this face, and then I'll use P for project. And then I can select the geometry that I care about using the faces or edges. And so I'll select this area and now it's going to redraw that for me. I'm going to come over to my browser and hide the body so that we can see the sketch that we just drew. So now this is a usable sketch entity. If we come and look straight at it, I'm gonna add some sketch geometry right here, finish the sketch, turn the body back on, show the body, and now you can see I have this sketch entity that I can reuse, and I'm gonna only use this portion and cut it away. One other quick tip, don't forget about direct edit in Fusion. You don't always have to resketch uh, an area. So for example, I can simply select this face, hit E for extrude, drag it, and it's gonna automatically intelligently cut that down. Same goes for this cylinder. I could select the cylinder and um, add some length or cut away some length without having to sketch it all. What if I have a sketch somewhere that I want to reuse on a different face? So I have this sketch off in space and there's uh, project this onto this face and have this sketch available here. This could be a solid geometry and we could reuse it. So I can start a sketch here, use P for project. We'll select this face of this plate off in space, hit OK and it redraws that for us right here. Now we can use this to create a feature. We could do cuts, we could do extrudes. It's a difference between the selection filter and the bodies. So when you're working with the project tool, but sometimes when you have a lot of complex shapes or rounded shapes, it can be overwhelming to try to select this profile. Select the body. I'll choose it from the browser, choose this body, hit OK, it's going to redraw where that body crosses this sketch plane. We'll hide the body. You can see it's redrawn this complex shape for us that we can reuse now. What about intersect versus projection? So we have a complex geometry here on the right, and I'd like to sketch where this crosses a plane right in the middle. So I've, we can come up, find our project include, and choose the intersect command. And what I'm gonna choose is the entire 
surface body, select it, hit OK, and you'll notice the sketch entity where this complex shape crosses our sketch plane of reference. It redraws that for us. It is dynamic so that if this were modified, it will update our sketch entity for us. So hey, if you're new to Fusion 360 like me, check out the 44 Sketch Tips Cheat Sheet. It's free.